especially uh, the family and friends of Khalil and Haley on this special occasion. And it truly is a special occasion. At this time, I'd like to inter introduce our head varsity football coach, Mr. Tim Murphy, to speak about Khalil. Well, it's uh, kind of a strange anomaly how this whole thing came out. But I'll, I'll, my main memory of Khalil playing football is when we played against him his junior year. And uh, we had to prepare for him and how scared we were of him. And we ran a play up the middle, which I was holding my breath right off the bat. And you guys remember Ruben Vega? Tough kid, strong, powerful kid. This guy picks him up with one arm, and Ruben's feet are like dangling in the air, just running for life, and Khalil takes him down on the channel and picks him back up. I'm like, man, can you imagine having, you guys remember that? Can you imagine having a kid like that on your team? And then all of a sudden, he just, he's transferred like three or four months later. I'm like, man, this is too good to be true. I can't believe this is going to happen. We're going to have one of the best players ever to play high school football. And it was tough because all the trials and tribulations that he and our team and everybody had to go through to try to get him eligible. And, you know, with him being such a superstar athlete, I think it made it that much more difficult. In all reality, if he would have played for us and dominated like we all would, uh, know he would have, it still would have been... Well, maybe it would have been equally as cool, but it was pretty cool watching him do what he did, starting some traditions that are here at our school that will probably be for, for her forever. At least while I'm here, I guarantee they'll still be here. And that's what Khalil has. He is that unbelievable athlete that has that unbelievable character and that unbelievable work ethic. He's the total package, and we talk about it all the time. And I think that's going to take him all the way through Tennessee. I think it's going to take him all the way to playing on Sundays. And when his career is over doing that, he is going to be outstanding in everything he does. He's going to be a great husband, he's going to be a great father, and he's going to be great in his profession after athletics. They're calling you the greatest recruiter that uh, Tennessee has ever had. What do you think about that? I, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, uh, I just do what I can trying to get other guys to come to Tennessee with me. So, you know, whatever I can do, I do the same. It's kind of cool. It's, uh, it's been a fun time trying to recruit all these guys, so I like it.